What's going on everybody? This is Anthony Family Man Trucking and welcome to my channel. It's Saturday, December 5th, 2020, 1.30 in the afternoon. And I want to come out to you with the video that uh, a topic that I saw last night. Picked up a load yesterday in Cleburne, Texas, which is just shy outside Dallas. And it's heading over to Charlotte, North Carolina for a Monday drop. So last night when I went ahead and pulled over for my 10, 10 hour break, I pulled over in Louisiana and I was just going over some videos, perusing through YouTube and whatnot. And one topic kind of struck my uh, attention, so I went ahead and opened it. And it was a guy talking about his dispatcher. And he was bashing his dispatcher left and right. Okay. That he didn't know what he was doing that he was just putting him in some bad spots, no money, you know, he's not making any money, you know, just on and on, basically. So I'm thinking to myself, well, hell, if your dispatcher's not making you any money, request to, uh, for a new one. Now, he didn't list on what company he works for, okay? I'm not a subscriber of his channel. Now, I am subscribed to some channels out there but he was one of them that I'm not. I just came across him for the first time last night. And uh, so he's basically just raving on about how his dispatcher doesn't know this, doesn't know that, that he's not making any money, all this craziness, right? So then he starts going off the page, he starts talking about other negative things, all right? But his main topic was about his dispatcher. For about 12 minutes, I was listening, listening to this guy. So I kind of wanted to kick in a comment saying, well, hey man, I said, I uh, want you just to request for a new dispatcher. You know, the market's good right now. Well, long story short, I didn't want to leave a comment and have this guy kick back something uh, foolishness, basically. Because you know, some people in the world these days, they live in the negative, no matter which way you slice it. You can tell them good advice, helpful advice, advice that you think is positive and they're always going to find a negative in it so i just kind of just left it be but the more and more i was thinking about on dispatching when you're in trucking and i understand that in business you always want to cut out the middleman you want to cut the middleman out because you want to make more money right but in this case in this industry a dispatcher can be very very helpful all right they, uh, if, if you're not too familiar with, with uh, the industry, lanes, how much certain things should cost, whatever you want to call it, and you want to go ahead and dip into it, you can find out real quick that it's not for you, or at least not yet. Because dispatching, talking to brokers, it's an art. It really is. Okay? Looking at load boards, putting yourself in situations to where you're going to find loads getting back out okay don't chase the money all right I've always been told chase the territory because you'll always make money if you chase the territory because if you only chase the money sooner or later you're gonna run into a situation to where you're not gonna make anything coming back out all right so and, and I've been on, I've been on both sides of the table Right, a couple years back, I did used to dispatch myself. The guy that I used to drive for, he had four trucks in his fleet, and he was one of the drivers also. So maybe that's the reason why he allowed his uh, his drivers to uh, to dispatch themselves. So I would always dispatch myself, and I soon began to realize that it, it's a task in itself. I knew the lanes, I know the lanes actually. I know how to talk to brokers. And it just wasn't in the cards for me at the, at the moment. Because you have to understand, as a driver, you, you're, you only give yourself a small window to do certain things. And when you're a dispatcher, you have to constantly be on, I won't say on the phone, but on the buzzer when, uh, when something hits, right? I'm gonna paint you a picture. You wanna dispatch yourself? Okay, I'm gonna paint you a picture. You're a driver. All right, you get to the receiver. 
you don't know how long you're going to be there, right? You could be there 30 minutes, 45 minutes, two hours. So you're looking, you're fumbling through the, through the load board, and you come across a load. You call up, talk to the broker, and this is how it goes. Hey man, I'm Joe Smith with uh, ABC Trucking, calling about a load that's going to go to uh, point A to point B. Broker's going to tell you two things. The first thing he's going to tell you, no man, that load's already been taken. Sorry, thanks for calling. Bye. Peek. Hangs up. Or the second thing he's going to tell you is, all right, well, what's your MC number? My number is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want to call it. And basically, he's just wanting to know if you're in their system and also are you a legit. Everything pans out. All right. Tells you the whole schematics of the load. Tells you how much it is also. So you kick back to him and say, okay, well, can you do this much? The dispatcher is going to tell you something that's most likely going to be nine out of ten times going to be BS. He's going to tell you, no, man, I'm sorry, I can't do that much. I only have this much in it. Okay, so you drop it down a hundred bucks. Okay, well, can you do this much? No, man, I'm sorry. Like I said, I can only do this much, take it or leave it. So you think about it for about five seconds. Now, I'll call you back maybe like in three minutes. All right, you hang up, which is probably the, one of the mistakes you can do right there. So then you call on load B, right? Call on load B. Go through the whole spiel again. Hey, my name is uh, Joe Smith. I'm with ABC Trucking, calling about a load from, from point A to point B. Nah, man, I'm sorry. That load's already been taken. I don't know why it's still on the board. All right, thank you. Ooh, hang up. So then you call back on load A. It's been three minutes already. Talk to the same guy, same broker. Hey, I'm calling you back about the load I just finished talking to you about. I, wanna go, I guess I'll go ahead and take it. Sorry, dude, that load was just been taken. It's got the phone right now with the driver. You screwed yourself, right? So then you're fumbling around looking for another load. They come knocking on your door, right? Here's your paperwork. You're empty. Thanks drive safe so now you either have to go to a nearest truck stop or you have to pull somewhere to the side to where you can find a load right because most likely they're not gonna let you sit there you know block a door and not not all right so you go to the nearest truck stop pull over again looking for the load board by this time you already burn depending on how far you have to drive where you have to go another 15 20 minutes right so now you have to park calling around this and that back and forth now slim pickings, all right? Unless something magical pops up. So all that time you're sitting around looking for a load because you just want to cut out the middleman, all right? A dispatcher does all that behind the scenes while you're driving. Now I'm not gonna sit there and say all dispatchers are good and this and that back and forth. I've had my share of uh, bad dispatchers, okay? I just been fortunate so far to have a dispatcher that works well with me. So anyways, like I was telling you, a dispatcher is someone you want to have in your corner. All right? Paint you a picture. Another one. Last Thursday, right, was Thanksgiving. Went home Wednesday. I had already scheduled myself to be off till Monday. So four day off, right? So Friday comes right after Thanksgiving. He calls me about 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. Hey, Anthony, man, how you doing? How was your Thanksgiving? Right, small talk. Hey, well, I just have a, came across a load. Wanted to talk to you and go over it with it. So it tells me the whole situation with the load, where it's going. It's going to Houston to St. Paul, Minnesota, dropping off Wednesday. It's a two-day two drop. Somewhat light, paying real good. Going to a good area. All right, let's do it. Right? So now I know what I'm doing that Monday morning. Finish up my weekend with my family, hanging out, we go shopping a little bit, get ready for Monday morning. Monday morning, I go to the load, pick it up, start heading out. That Monday afternoon, he calls me. Hey, Anthony, how you doing, man? How was your weekend? Good? All right, man, I got a load. I want to go over with you. Picking up in the same area Wednesday morning after you drop off the one that you're under now. Tells me the whole situation. Cool, let's do it. All right, so I already got my load 
ready when I drop off the one I'm under. So I go pick up the load Wednesday after I drop off. Later on that afternoon, that Wednesday, he calls me. He goes, hey, Anthony, how you doing, man? How's everything going? Good? All right. Because I got a load for Friday picking up in Cleburne, going to North Carolina over the weekend. Paying real good. It's pretty light. It's on insulation. And then you'll be able to do your uh, 34 over the weekend. All right. Cool. Let's do it. Now, this is only Wednesday, and I already have a load that's going to carry me over to that following Monday after I do a 34. Well, then yesterday, which was Friday, he calls me after I pick up this load that's going to uh, Cleveland to North Carolina. He goes, hey, Anthony, how you doing, man? He goes, I just want to go ahead and let you know that I'm looking at a load right now, picking up in Charlotte, not that very far where he's dropping off. It's a next day drop, 400 miles. It's pretty light, paying pretty good going to a good market is dropping off the next morning at 11 o'clock all right cool let's do it all this he keeps he keeps the ball running rolling so to speak while i'm just driving okay that's what you want you want someone in your corner that's going to keep on keep on and keep on going for you okay now don't get me wrong like i said not all dispatchers out there are all fun and games all right you get some bad apple just like anything else in life but I've just been fortunate to have this guy in my corner and you want that you want to have someone that's gonna be in your corner that's gonna make you the most money okay and all you have to do is just uh, stay behind the wheel go from point A to point B so listening out to this guy last night ramble on for about 12 13 minutes Kind of like what I'm at right now. He was just going negative after negative after negative, you know. But like I said, in this industry, having a dispatcher in your corner is a, is a good thing. Now here at MGR Lease, like I said, they have a dispatching team, a dispatching department. Me, on my case, I can't speak for the other drivers. I can speak for two other drivers that we talk on a pretty good basis, and they make good money just like I do. But with that being said, guys, here at MGR Lease, we do make good money, and I'm not trying to solicit them, but I'm just telling you, from, from on my side, my dispatcher, he takes care of me. So if this video's been helpful, give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. I like to come out with videos, share my journeys with you guys, as well as talk about the company that I work for. All right, God bless, take care.